This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Bike Club. Now, many of you have probably heard of the club. It was a very, very famous steering wheel lock that exploded onto the market in the 1990s. However, what a lot of people don't know is that the club tried to translate their success in the steering wheel lock market into success with a lot of other security products. Most of them are not very well known. The bike club is one of them. This is a variation on the standard bicycle U-lock. It actually has two U's, one that fits inside of the other. When I move the tubular core to the unlocked position, the two halves will come apart, and you can see there are several notches on which you can lock this, making it a fully adjustable lock. So the interior of this can adjust from anywhere as small as about six inches on the inside to over nine inches on the inside. On many bicycle locks that we've seen on this channel that have tubular cores like this one, we only have to pick them one position before the lock will open up. As you can see on this lock, we have a locked and an unlocked position that are 180 degrees opposed from each other, or four picking positions. And I've done some testing, and you do actually have to pick this, the full four positions, before this lock will open. So it's one of the few locks out there that does take advantage of one of the inherent strengths of the tubular lock format. I also tried a number of different tubular lock impressioning tools on this lock, and was unable to get any of them to work. The springs in here behind the pins are very, very strong, and they appear to be varied as well. And that's a pretty effective combination for defeating tubular lock impressioning tools. So that leaves us with single pin picking. And since we do have to pick it for positions, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. So let's get a, a tension wrench in here and get started picking. Okay. I'm just going to go around in circles, pressing on each pin. If it's binding, I will try to set it. If it's not, I will just move on. One is loose. Got to click at a two. Click at a three. There is nothing in this bottom position. It's only a six pin lock. Four is loose. Five is loose. Click at a six. And we moved one position. Starting again, click out of one, nothing on two, click out of three, click out of four, click out of five. Okay, we got it another position. So we're halfway there. Moving on, click out of one, click out of two. Nothing on three, click on four, click on five. Okay, we got it the third position, and we should just have one more slot before this opens up. Click out of one, two, three, four, and five. And we are in the fully unlocked position, and this comes apart. So it does take some time to, to open it up. I, I do like the lock, I have to say. I do like the fact that it is not susceptible to the tubular lock impressioning tool. I like the fact that you have to pick it multiple positions to open it up. But the fact remains that it is a relatively low tolerance, low quality lock. And someone who is experienced with single pin picking tubular locks is not going to have very much trouble opening it up. So that's all I have for you today on the Bike Club. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.